everyone and welcome to our Life is Healing Wellness channel. My name is Kathy Isom and I am a certified Qigong therapist and certified Reiki master. And how are you doing? My name is Dr. Isom, Dr. Angelo Isom. I'm a naturopath and I'm also a certified Qigong master. Okay, so uh, if this is your first time seeing this channel, or seeing any of our videos, we encourage you to check out our playlist and subscribe to our uh, channel. Like, share, and hit the notification bell to be notified for all our upcoming videos. We appreciate you that this is helps with the algorithm and it helps us to make more videos. Would you like to make more videos? Uh, we have uh, upcoming videos on health, wellness, and of course cooking. Okay, this is a great time to talk about basic physical requirements. All right, so we're going to talk about the uh, physical requirements for uh, Qigong. All right, so which one should we start with? Uh, we should start with the posture and alignment. Okay, posture and alignment. Okay, so when people practice Qigong, you've got to understand, you have to understand the role of posture, how it helps to uh, help the chi flow better, how it helps the, the energy to travel to the organs and allows you to actually, in some cases, you can actually feel this as like a warm current going through your body. When we do it, we always feel like a warm current passing through our body when we do this. So in terms of the posture, the basic posture, we're going to use the standing Qigong method, which is like this. We're, all right? And so Kathy's going to do that. Now, Let's see, move you over a little bit more right here. Okay, so in this method, it's important that, um, that the knees are bent slightly and that the knees are like, they're not bent where they're above, you know, the toe, beyond the toe, and they're just bent, but they're in alignment. So we don't want it to be, knock your knees in like Wen Chun. So we don't want it like that, okay? We want the knees to be bowed out like that, right? You don't have to go too deep. The second thing that's important is that her head should be slightly suspended. So place the head down. This will be wrong, cutting off the blood flow, uh, excuse me, air flow right here, okay? Leading to lungs. So she's gonna lift her chin, all right? Just slightly, we call that suspending the head. Her eyes are gonna be with a relaxed gaze. So we don't want need to open the eyes real wide. Open your eyes real wide? No, we don't want that. We want a relaxed gaze. So that's important. The face, the muscles in the face should be relaxed. Forehead should be relaxed. The shoulders are down. As you can see, how she, raise your shoulders up. That, that would be wrong, okay? So we don't want lifted shoulders. It's called stress and tension. Her chest, put your chest out like military. We don't want the chest out, so we want a sunken chest so air can flow more gently. And elbows are relaxed. The wrist here is curved inward, as you can see. So even when we do the Qigong postures, our wrist is relaxed, all parts of our body relaxed. The waist is relaxed, the waist can swivel, so you can see the move like this. And it's important that she has the sense of rootedness, that she's connected to the earth. We always say that you can imagine like a third leg, you know, attaching her to the uh, ground, you know, from the front and back, whatever. And it keeps her connected down into the earth. The breathing. Okay, so well, first of all, let me get him myself, but this is the physical posture that a person has to have. It's real important that person remain relaxed and calm and centered and sunk in the sense of sinking down into the earth and drawing energy up from the ground up into the body or pulling energy from the heavens down into the body. So that's the idea that you want. Okay, you can relax now. Oh, all right. All right. So uh, what else do we need to cover? Breathing. 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 Yes. Excuse me. Oh, wow. I thought we were done. Okay. <laughs> breathing. Don't breathe like that. So with the breathing, you get back in that posture again. All right. So the breathing, her stomach goes out and breathes in. So we're doing lower abdominal breathing. This stomach expands. We're turning you sideways just a little bit so you can see. So here, place my hand on the abdomen area, so it expands out and it goes in. So when she's breathing through the nose, in and out, slowly and deeply, that's what you do in Qigong, all right? So what we don't want is her breathing through the chest. Show how you breathe through the chest. 
upper chest. Put your chest up. Okay, as if you're in fear, shock. We don't want that type of breathing. We want more of the lower abdominal breathing. If you get a little upper abdominal breath, uh, chest breathing, it's okay as long as you breathe in a little bit, but you're not over expanding the chest. But ideally, you want lower, mid, and upper uh, breathing. You want that energy to be passing through here. But you, but main one that's going to act as a pump, the lower abdominal pump, we call that the Don Tien. And this is the area right here with this known as the center, where the center of the body, uh, the hara, the dantian, this is where energy is stored. And it's stored right around here where the navel's at, a little bit below the navel, but right in this area where we're attached to the umbilical cord. When we were young, we were attached there. That's where energy comes in the body. It comes in from here. It comes in from the feet. It comes in from the, the lower spine, the sacral area, and it comes in from all the joints as well. Of course, it comes in from the hands. So there's a few points. Okay. Oh, we all forgot to say that keep your tongue at the top of your palate. Okay. Don't have your mouth agape and don't have your tongue uh, touching the bottom of your teeth. It should touch the top, which forms like a light switch, like a circuit. So this electrical bio energy can flow. Okay. Anything else? Yes, uh, the physical and mental relaxation. Physical, mental relaxation. Okay. That goes with that. Okay, so when you're doing Qigong, you should be physically relaxed. We talked about that. Now, mental relaxation, it has, has more to do with your state of mind and your attitude and openness when you're doing uh, Qigong. And um, you want to have be in a more receptive type of state. A receptive state where you are it's like when you when you see someone and they're your friend you're receptive to them or when you're in love you're in a receptive state and open you're mentally relaxed you don't have any strong emotions so don't practice if you're angry you're sad or you have any extreme extreme emotions you don't want to practice when that time so you want something like uh, neutral uh, uh, benevolence or you know just a neutral happy state of mind you want to be in a happy state of mind mentally mm -hmm. all right I'd like to add something yes since we have this beautiful brainwave entrainment music in the background mm -hmm. uh, brainwave entrainment music or something relaxing point. can help uh, your mood and help your practice it's a good so point. you want to have some relaxing music we can Put some below in the description. We have mm -hmm. a meditation channel, and we'll also add those to the description. So you can practice along with our uh, meditation music, and I think that will really be a benefit as well. And burn the incense, we forget because the incense also relaxes the body. Right. Okay. Yeah. It's used in almost any, every place in the world for yoga, relaxation. They use in temples for meditation. So incense would also help to do that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And. The feeling, the intent, and when you visualize, what was the feeling, the intent? Okay, so uh, when you were talking about, I'm going to back up a little bit about the mental relaxation. Ah. Okay, so what comes after the mental relaxation? The alpha brainwave mindset. Okay, great, yes. great. Okay, so the alpha brainwave mindset. So that goes with mental relaxation. Uh, I think it's something like uh, anywhere between almost... Not sure, something like four to eight cycles per second, brainwave activity, but the alpha brainwave is important. That's the state when you're just relaxed and you're calm, you're in a groove, mm -hmm. everything, you can think, you can, this is a state where artists create, they write poetry, musicians write songs, scientists like Einstein and other great scientists and people, they can, uh, physicists like, uh, what's his name, Hawkins? Stephen, yeah. Steve Hawkins, yeah, they can come up with these theories on relativity and the quantum field. They are able to tap into these creative energies because of they can enter into an alpha brainwave mindset. So there's a lot of information. You can Google about alpha brainwave. The music you listen to is an alpha brainwave background. It's, uh, uh, it, it, it's what we call bioresonance, um, and it allows you to, to get into this state. Me calm music, a nice warm bath, but you want to be in this state of mind when you're practicing Qigong to help facilitate and accelerate your healing. Okay. Mm -hmm. And after all this is done, the visualization, 
and the feeling of intent is very important as well. Oh, okay, good. Now, and when you're doing Qigong, the energy is flowing, as I said, it flows from the kidney, from this point here, up the middle of the thigh, it goes all up to K27, so K1 is at the bottom of the foot, okay, we have, we have the energy flowing uh, from the lung, as we mentioned earlier here, and it flows into this point, the lung meridians, or uh, energy channels, so while you're doing this, you want to direct with your mind, you want to sort of trace with your mind the pathway that the energy is traveling. That's why it's good in our book we cover detail all the meridians and pathways that you should know. So as you're doing this, you're not doing it blind, uh, and you're doing it correctly, and your mind is following the same pathways with your thought. Thought is energy, and thought becomes things. So that this will get you'll get more benefit out of your qigong. Okay, you're not just doing it blindly, following motion. There's much more to it than qigong, than just following, just doing the motions that you see. A lot of people sometimes make that kind of mistake. And the feeling, you can actually feel it, you can visualize it. Some people are not good at visualization, they're better at uh, feeling. So you can feel it and then the intent, the idea that you want to do that. Okay, so let's go ahead and, and, and go through the uh, qigong. We're going to do uh, the five element qigong, we're going to do about uh, five of them, three of them a piece, okay? So we start with gathering energy from the ground, opening, drawing energy from earth, breathing, bringing energy back down, opening, bringing energy down to the crown chakra, into the neck, into the body, into abdomen, and back down to the ground. Okay, so the first one we're going to do is going to be the lung. We're going to turn the hands over this way, and turn it back here. We go out, one, and bring it back in, two, three. And down. Right. The next one we're going to do is going to be the, uh, we're going to do the liver. Ready? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. And back up and down. Now these should be done uh, 10 times on each side, 10 times as a repetition, 10 reps ideally, but we're just going through it. The next one is the kidney. So we place my hand behind my back, as you can see right here. All right, right hand behind the left kidney. We go down, back over, down. So inhale here. Now exhale here. All right, and that's the kidney. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Okay, now we're gonna go to the spleen. A spleen point. We turn here to the left first. One, two, three. And down. And then the fifth one that we're going to do is going to be the heart. So we come here, we place the right hand on top. It doesn't matter whether it's left or right, but we're going to synchronize now. So we're going to do the left. You want to do the left today? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. right. Okay, here we go. Breathing. Inhale. Drawing. Exhale. Back again, one more time, and drawing, and down. So while you're doing the Qigong, my tongue is at the top of my mouth, which forms that circuit from each meridian, the front and back, the orbit, and it makes the flow. It's like complete circuit of electricity. Um, okay, yes? I have to say something. Okay. Uh, when you do the kidney qigong, mm -hmm. I think it would be really great for our viewers to see both sides. We didn't do the one side to show the hand placement on okay. the back on the left and the back on the right. Okay, so we'll do the other side. 
Okay, so we're we'll reviewing here. We're going to place the, this time, our left hand is going to be on the right side. Okay. And right here. I'm going down. Exhaling. Inhaling. Exhale. And bring it back, down, and then the other hand goes down. Okay, good. So we see both sides. Okay, so that's going to wrap up our, um, our video. And we hope you enjoyed it and got a lot out about the correct way to practice Qigong, all the elements involved, and what you should think about when you're practicing, how the Qi comes into play, posture, breathing, brain set. So there's, there's a lot of things to it to get it right. If you really want to get it right, we encourage you to, uh, to go to our website. To, uh, we do have a video that we made. You can video stream it. And it has all that detailed information and we guide it. We go step by step. The video is, uh, is about a little bit more. Uh, it's a little, about an hour, 90 minutes video. So you get a lot out of it. And you can do our, the Qigong workout with us in the video. And also, we have a manual, as we said, it's called Life is Healing Qigong. All that information is in there, the correspondence with the breathing, the organs, correspondence with emotion, the season of the year, you know, the, uh, the type of energy, and all of that is in there. And of course, there's the cycle of construction and destructive cycle in the, in the uh, Chinese medical theory. All right, so uh, thank you for your time, and uh, don't forget to hit don't forget to hit the subscribe, share, and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when we do some more uh, Life is Healing videos and um, more 